Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Listen, I'm glad to have you guys here today. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of April, 2020. And, you know, we got a lot of things happening in the world. We got this huge virus going everywhere, you know, and and uh, we got uh, it, it, huge problems. I'm going to get right into it. Let's start the charts right here, and let's take a look at what's going on. You know, the European Union, they know big problems with food supplies are coming up. You know, and they're looking for ways to feed the people so people won't starve, basically. They're planning on feeding you bugs, <laughs> quite honestly. European Union approves bugs for human consumption. Uh, the European Union's Food Safety Authority has approved the sale of bugs as a novel food, meaning that they are likely to be mass-produced for human consumption throughout the continent by the end of the year. So this is what they're planning on doing, feeding you bugs to keep you alive, you know. Uh, and, and, and the thing is, is it doesn't sound so nutty to me right now. It would sound better than starving to death, quite seriously. Now, I want to show you guys something. Take a look at this coronavirus map. And I want to talk about this for a minute. Now, you know, I did a show yesterday about the coronavirus, and I said that for every case on here, there's a lot of cases that are going undiagnosed. Now, I'm going to tell you what. The more cases that are going undiagnosed, the better the outcome for us in the world. It means there's going to be less deaths. It means there's going to be more less. Uh, and this thing will be, it means this thing will be over much quicker. Uh, it means that uh, that there will be less hospitals full of overloaded. The more the more cases there are out here that are not confirmed. Now these are the total confirmed cases: one million three hundred and sixty-two thousand nine hundred and thirty-six at this moment. If this represented all of the cases of this virus, in other words, if, if they've, they've found every person that has it and they know every person that has it, and it's one, it actually, the actual number is 1,362,000. If that were really true, then we would be doomed. Because this thing is on an exponential, exponential growth curve. And what it means is you only have to do the math. You just take the the sixty percent of the world's population, which the experts have basically said that's how many people are going to have it in the end. You know, sixty percent of the world's population, and you by the time we get herd immunity, and this thing's going to keep growing until it gets to herd immunity. And so, if you took this number one 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 million three hundred sixty two thousand, and you divided it into sixty percent of the world's population, it would mean that this thing would would grow 6,000 times bigger than it is now. And you know what troubles it's causing right now. Imagine if it was 6,000 times more. Well, it would be the end of civilization. So if this number were actually correct, it would be the end of civilization. Not civilization as we know it, but the end of civilization, the end of the civilized world. That's what it would be. But this number is not correct. There is countless cases out there that they're not finding. People just having, I think they got a head cold or whatever, you know. And that number might be astronomically more than this, this number here of total confirmed. And actually, to tell you the truth, I believe that's the real truth of the situation. And so that's why we're actually headed toward the peak. Because if that number was correct, we wouldn't be headed toward the peak right now. This thing would just be getting started if that was the actual number of people that had it. But uh, I think we're an awful lot more far, farther advanced toward herd immunity than people could even know. Because one of the reasons why is the asymptomatic, people who are asymptomatic. I think that represents the majority of the cases. And so... Uh, we're going to see this thing through. I think we're about, I think personally myself, that we're about halfway through it right now. Uh, terrible, terrible disaster, terrible crunch on the financial system. And so this thing not being over, it's going to have more extenuating effects coming up. 
before it's over. So we're, I don't think we're quite halfway. I think we're just about halfway, but I don't think we're quite halfway into it right now. And it's got to play itself out now at this point because, you know, if we go in here and take a look at America, you see how it's speckled everywhere, how it's seeded itself? It's got to play itself out. And this means basically that that is this situation is going to continue for a few more months uh probably into the summer as it plays itself out and it finally gets this is a tragedy it should have been prevented that's why we have the world health organization there they're, su they're supposed to be proactive that means when when only just a one person had it in the united states they should have jumped on this thing Close the borders down, not in, let anybody in or anybody out of the country. And they should have done that in every country. They should have contained this thing. That's what they're there for. You know? Uh, but really, what did they actually do? What effective, what was their most effective thing that they actually did? Well, they just announced they kept announcing this and announcing that, saying, well, we're now going to announce it's a pandemic. About a month after everybody else knew it was a pandemic. I mean, they didn't really accomplish anything to stop this thing. That's what they need to do is you need to see there's several things in this world. The most dangerous thing in this world is them playing around in these laboratories with these level four biohazard viruses and genetic manipulation and things like that you know gene splicing and everything like that that's more dangerous than the nuclear weapons but we put so much emphasis and focus on the nuclear weapons oh we're so scared of them all the way through the cold war we are so scared of them None of these world leaders, even Kim Jong Un, is going to do anything. They're just, those nuclear weapons, they build them, they just sit there and they don't do anything until finally they get so old they have to replace them. They're not a real danger to humanity. This is the real danger to the humanity right here. And but we have loose policies around these 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 uh, biohazard and weapons re bioweapons research facilities and everything else we need to clamp down on that stuff because that's the big danger to humanity and if this hasn't showed us that that's the big danger to humanity nothing will okay so when we get over this we will we'll get through this but i'm going to tell you we're getting through this one but the next one might wipe us all out we got to quit playing God and quit playing with these these viruses and trying to splice them together and stuff like that. This, this research itself is dangerous because these things, even though they're in these laboratories and stuff, you don't know who all is working there. They could hire some goof who doesn't put his suit on right or whatever. He catches it, he goes home, he doesn't even know he has it, and he spreads it to half of the neighborhood, and then you got a situation like this. But what if it's something that's ten times more deadly next time? Something needs to be done about this. As humanity, we have to do something about this so that this doesn't not, not only happen again, but next time be ten times worse. Okay, I've said enough about that. I've had a little rant. Let's move on and take a look at what's going on here with the gold and silver price. Live gold price, 1641 and the price is dropping a little bit, $19.30 down. Silver's not dropping. Silver's going up. This could be the beginning of the real rally, guys, because, you know, I expect when the silver price starts to move higher than the gold price and... This is a this is a sign of when silver leads the way. This is a real strong rally, and you know we're gonna have a ra a huge rally coming up in gold and silver. And in subsequent shows coming, I'm gonna explain why. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into it in this show. I might do a special show on it. Let's take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations today. 
And what we're looking at is $210 billion. Crypto's doing great right now. It's starting to rise back up again. 73.75 uh, for Bitcoin today. Crypto's doing real good. It's appearing really nice and strong right now. And, you know, it was getting ready for a really huge rally before this situation come along. Let's take a look now at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And she's up today. She's up. Uh, get my chart over here a little bit. I have to shift it. 23,499. Up 829 points. This is getting ready to fall off again. But the Fed has put a put under it at 18,000. They won't let it go below 18,000 too much. Now, what might happen is, is it, I think it's getting ready to fall down and test those lows again. And when it does that, it might push down below 18,000, might go down 17 or even 16 uh, before the Fed can actually get in there and support it again, bring it back up. But they're not going to let it go down too low. Uh, they start to get really nervous and start to really want to do something when it goes around 18,000. You know, and that, they've decided that that's the marker. They don't want to let it go below that. Uh, and they'll they'll come in and support it. So they're going to have to do more than they've already done. More stimulus measures. Whatever that form that will take, I don't know. But they're going to do it when it starts to drop again. And it's heading for another drop. This is just a dead cat bounce. That's what we're seeing right here in the market. Okay, let's take a look now. Crude oil, 2635. Uh you know, it's been dropping a little bit again, starting to drop a little bit again. But right now, it's up uh, 27 cents on the day so far. Well, let's take a look at U.S. Treasuries. They're all yet rising. We got rising Treasury yields. Uh, not significant. It's not a significant rise in yields, but 0.75 on the 10-year and 1.34 on the U.S. 30-year. With re yields rising today. Okay, now the U.S. dollar index, 99.82, and we got a falling dollar today. And it's a fairly significant, it's falling, uh, mostly it's being compared against the euro. Okay, guys, thank you guys for listening to the show. Give me a thumbs up. Those thumbs up mean a lot to my channel. And we'll catch you guys in the very next episode. You guys have a great day out there. Or try to have a great day. I know you're probably shut into your house. Or maybe you work <clears throat> at some job that's essential. For all you guys that are working at those jobs that are essential, you know, really want a big, big thank you to you guys for keeping the system running. You're the backbone right now that's keeping the system running. And we're all depending upon you out there. And big thank you to you guys. You know, I mean, in the media and stuff, they don't thank the people out there who are uh, have essential jobs. Like uh, if you're a policeman, a fireman, uh, maybe you're an ambulance worker, or maybe you work in a grocery store, you know, or maybe you work on a farm or 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 maybe you work in, in anything that's essential to keep civilization going right now, and you're still working, a lot, a lot of us aren't working anymore, and we're, we don't know what we're going to do, actually, financially. Because, I mean, the government support, I mean, that's just, it's, 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 it's tenuous at best, you know. And uh, we're a little bit nervous about how we're going to pay the bills, you know. Uh, and, and so... Uh, we see hard times coming, and, you know, this has a really been a really rough situation for all of us out, out here, you know. But a big thank you for you guys that are working and keeping the system still running so that we can still have a resemblance of, a, of, a, of an actual civilization. Okay, bye-bye, guys.